Hi everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today is Tuesday, December 5th, and let's open our Advents. Ooh. That's different. Is it yellow or green? I think we're getting into green territory here. Which, you know what? Checks out. What's today, five? Ooh. Oh, okay. So as you saw, look at these colors for today. Okay, let's talk about hedgehog fibers first because I'm really excited. This color is like very different from all of the other colors we've gotten so far in this box. It's dark, it's moody, it's blue and green. It actually kind of is on brand with my uh, cow cardigan that I'm wearing today. And then for botanical yarns, I'm, I'm calling it that we're into, we're fading into the green slash blues, and we just, we've just got some yellow sprinkles here on the end of this yarn. But again, these two go together so well. The um, light green blue really picks up the light colors on the hedgehog fibers. And let me show you. This, I finished um, this square last night. It looks so good. Um, this is gonna go over here on this side, like this. I can, let's, let's show you a better angle. It'll go like this off of this square. I debated whether I wanted it to go over here or over here. Um, I'm not, I'm kind of annoyed that these two yellows look almost the same and then this one is also light I think it would have been nice if you know they were kind of offset but this is just the corner of what is going to be like a 48 square blanket so nobody's really going to know and I think the dark of the hedgehog fibers will contrast really nicely with these two lighter colors so that's what we're working with today I decided to change up my plan for how I'm going to do Vlogmas and move into daily vlog territory because as I've been filming the last four days, I realized that that video, if I continued going for a full week, is going to be really long. And I myself am personally really enjoying the shorter vlogs, like 10 to 15 to 20 minute vlogs episodes that other people are doing. And so that's really what I want to aim for here. Um, I also said at the beginning that I would be doing some knitting chats and that idea has really been stressing me out. Um, I really, if I was like on my schedule, I should be filming one today to post tomorrow and um, I've just been stressing out about it. I don't know what to talk about, what topic. And when I do knitting chats, I feel like I really need to like write out, not a script, but like a lot of bullet points to make sure I say everything that I want to say. And I'm just like not in the mood to actually do that. I really just want to uh, enjoy watching a lot of people's videos and enjoying the holiday things that I'm doing and uh, knitting up these minis as well as my other projects. So that's why we're moving into this territory. Hey, Lollipop. Did you make another mess today for me to clean up? I really appreciate that, you know. Money? Oh. Hey, bud. Oh, yes, I give you love. I hate Rocky. Get 
Can you see anymore? got some yarn mail. I think it arrived yesterday. This first one is from Wool to Die For, and it's not a super exciting package because if you've ordered from them before, you know it's just bare yarn. I don't know what I, I didn't expect it to come like this. I think it's, um, Yeah, I have to assume it's like hanked up, but it's not like twisted into a skein form. But it's 10 skeins of just bare white yarn. Um, I would want to use some of this for the Daft Days cardigan with this as my contrast color. I've talked about this before on Instagram and on YouTube, but this, I have three skeins of this, and it is my favorite yarn in my stash. I'm obsessed with this color, and it's got like pieces of orange. Um, it's just the prettiest thing ever. This is Akara Yarns. The color is called Sultry or Hydrangea. I forget. Hold on. It's been in my stash for so long that the labels... <laughs> fallen off okay this one is called sultry i have a white yarn that i got from the same time as them at the same time as this that's called hydrangea this one is called sultry i have looked everywhere and have not been able to find additional skeins of this i originally bought it from la mercery um last summer i believe but I only have three skeins and I'm like definitely a sweater knitter. So I've been trying to think of some way to incorporate this into some sort of sweater. And when the Daft Days pattern came out, I don't know why I threw that. I was like, this would be so perfect as the contrast color for that cardigan with just a cream white main color to really let this shine and i'm really excited about it so don't know when i'll cast it on um excuse me i also figured it would be nice this 10 skeins is the like smallest quantity you can order from wool to die for so i just got the 10 skeins uh i figured it's nice to have some just bare yarn in your stash i can use this for a blanket or just something else so excited about this and then the other one that I got, I don't know if you can see this, is from Terrapin Fiber Works. Oh wow, look at this colors. Okay, this is the color called Antique Autumn on her Severn fingering base. And this was a colorway that she had pretty much exclusively at uh, like Rhinebeck weekend at Woolen Folk. And then she put it up for pre-order and I was like, I need some of that, it's gorgeous. And so I got it on this tensile base, it's 100% tensile, which I've never tried before. Um, so I'm really excited to try it out. I do want to knit a sweater in this. I've seen um, other people knit sweaters in this base, though I'm pretty sure it I'm pretty sure it grows a lot. So it'll be interesting to like knit it up and then see how it wears and how it holds up over time. Um, I really want to get more into non-wool bases, especially here in Southern California. I can't always wear wool. It's just too warm for it. I mean, I've really been walking around in this tank top all day, put this cardigan on to chat with you guys. But yeah, so I'm excited about those two um, purchases that have arrived.
gardeners are here. I'll protect you, Rocky, okay? Okay? Little pup? You're gonna be okay. I have to save them. Oh, I got you. You're okay? Yeah, you're okay. Winding this up, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it definitely leans more green blue tone with the yellow sprinkles compared to like a yellow yarn. And this one is so fun. A little bit of a change of scenery. I am on school pickup duty today. I'm not normally on school pickup duty, usually Joel is, but he had an appointment, so. I am here to pick up Caleb. Um, I also just wanted to address that it is 82 degrees out today. So yes, I'm in a tank top. And welcome to December in Southern California. I am a little bit uh, upset that it's not like cold and cloudy. At least if it was cloudy, I would feel justified in wearing my sweaters. But it's not, it's 80 degrees and it's sunny outside, so can't even, can't even wear any of my knitwear. Um, I've got a big, I've got big thoughts about what 2024, what my knitting is going to look like in 2024. Um, and I'm very conflicted because on the one hand, I have a ton of sweater quantities probably like three years worth of sweater quantities of wool in my stash that I want to make. Like I really like the sweaters and the projects, but at the same time, I don't get to wear them very often. So it's like, you know, balancing what I want to make versus what's practical for me to actually wear is a really big conversation and I definitely want to talk more about it on my channel. So. I'm sure there will be videos coming out uh, in the new year about those topics, so stay tuned if you're also interested. <laughs> So it's about 5.30 p.m. and I'm just getting back to my square. Um, I think I can finish this before I head to bed tonight, but I am heading to bed pretty early because I am going into the office tomorrow for a meeting. So I just ordered uh, some dinner for myself from Chipotle. Everyone else is just like chilling in bed. I think 
they're playing video games upstairs, relaxing the rest of the night. So I'm gonna sit here downstairs with the dogs, watch my vlogmases, and work on my blanket, wait for dinner to come. So if I don't talk to you uh, at all the rest of the night, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, actually, I am going to combine today and tomorrow since I don't know how much I'll have tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning or the afternoon. Well, this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Just kidding, that's from Princess Diaries. Uh, I have to go into the office today. It's like 5.30 in the morning, so see ya. How much do you wish you could take all your crafting stuff with you when you go into the office? So much. All right, so I made it to uh, work. It's like 7.30. Um, usually when I get in early, I just sit in my car until it's 8 o'clock um, because I would rather just be here than be inside the office. Um, and I, the traffic was really not bad today and I really wish I had brought um, some knitting so I could just like sit here and like watch an episode of something before I head inside. But... I'm just gonna watch my Instagram stories and um, I'll see you when I'm done with work for when I'm done with work for the day. <laughs> I'm back at home from my day at the office, so let's open these advents. Ooh, that's cool. It's not yellow. It still has yellow sprinkles though. Again, these actually match pretty well. Okay, I wound up my advents. I forgot to show you like I normally do before I wound them up. So here is Hedgehog Fibers. Something a little bit different today. It's a little bit more pastel, purple, blue, pink, tan, brown. And botanical, we are 100% out of the yellows. Yay! Um, although there is some yellow speckling going on. But this is definitely like a minty green we've got here, which these go together fairly well. I would say the hedgehog definitely has these lighter blue sections, um, but I think that's really what pairs the best with this green, and I do think they're gonna look really good together. So I actually still need to finish yesterday's square. Let me show you. Um, but then I think I'm going to put today's colors over here. So I'll show you a, 
lay down, lay flat, flat lay? A flat, a flat lay video of it when I get this square finished. But we're gonna do a um, tiny, tiny knit and chat um, about some things that I just wanna chat about. Um, first, today, uh, Taylor Swift was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. And if you didn't read that article, I really recommend you go read the whole thing. It was long, which was amazing because we got a lot of insight into Taylor's life right now. And there were a lot of really good quotes and it was super interesting. And um, if you're like a big Swifty like I am, all of the photos were very reminiscent of her reputation era, which if you're not a Swifty, uh, most Swifties believe that the next re-recorded album she's gonna put out is going to be Reputation. So um, that was really exciting to see. Like all of her like hair and makeup and styling, she's wearing black in almost all of the photos, really looks like pictures and stuff that we had got from the original Reputation era. So I'm interested to see if we're gonna get uh, an announcement soon. Some things on, some people on TikTok are already saying like 13 days from now or something like that. So we'll see. Um, that was really exciting. On my way into the office, I was listening to a podcast and I've been listening to this podcast while I do uh, my walks in the afternoon as well. So I wanted to give a little bit of a recommendation. If you like the Empyrean series, the Fourth Wing and Iron Flame books, I started listening to the Fantasy Fangirls podcast. Um, and they are doing like a deep dive on everything related to that series uh, and starting with like the first episodes on a fourth wing and I haven't even gotten to Iron Flame yet but the episodes are really long and really entertaining. They're two sisters who do them and I'm really really loving that so if that's something that you're interested in you may want to check them out. Um, they also talk about um, Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses. So if you haven't read that series, I would maybe recommend reading that before you give it a listen. But I mean, who hasn't read that at this point? <laughs> um, what else did I want to tell you about? Oh, the last thing is the book that I'm reading right now. Um, I'll just put a photo of it. I'm reading Love Light Farms. So I had asked uh, a few days ago for some recommendations on like holiday rom-com books to read and I got like a bunch of recommendations so thank me thank you if you sent me one of those and so the first one that I started reading is Love Light Farms and I'm a little over halfway through it now and I'm really enjoying it it's um a friends to lovers trope and the tension is high very high uh and that's all that i will say about it so um yeah you know along with watching everyone's vlogmases um that's what i've been getting up to listening to and reading so far this december um i also wanted to say somebody had asked a question in my last episode and they said i didn't know do you have a son i didn't know that you do and I do, I have a stepson. His name is Caleb and he's eight years old. He'll be nine in January. And yeah, I think I posted a clip of uh, our elf, Slinky, and he was in the background of that clip. So yeah, if you have any other questions or anything for me, you can leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them in a future episode. Um, a lot of the other comments from the last video are just on like <laughs> everyone being so shocked and excited that um, the colors match so well every single day from my two advents, which honestly, same. Every day I am very surprised that the colors go so well together. It's so funny, but I'm loving this project so far. Um, it is a lot of knitting, like I've mentioned a couple times already. Um, I'm like, you know, my goal for, 
my goal for every day is to knit one square um, but I'm also like trying to get that Oslo hat worked on and done so I have a very loose goal of getting about 10 rows done on that every day and it just is getting harder and harder to complete both of those goals every day um, during the week. On the weekends it's fine. I can just knit and knit and knit and not feel bad about it on the weekends but during the week obviously I've got other stuff that I need to do. Um, work and cook and hang out with the family and all of that stuff so it's just difficult. So I do think at some point um, the blanket might need to get put on the back burner a little bit just so I can get that hat done and make sure it's ready for Christmas. Um, and I did really want to, I keep saying that's going to be my last one, but I really want to make another one for a friend. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if I can do that. But, I don't know, just my thoughts on all of that. So, there we go. I know I had promised some, like, knit and chat episodes, but there's your uh, knit and chat for the day. I did a couple rows on <laughs> this square, and um, I gotta do some data stuff, so. Okay, we finished yesterday's square. I messed up a little bit. Um, you can probably see the change is not starting right in the corner. I did like two extra rows of the blue variegated uh, just because I misread the pattern and misunderstood what it was telling me to do, but that's my fault. But once I join this square, I mean, nobody will notice in the grand scheme of a blanket, so that's fine. And then here's where our new colors are gonna go. And here's how it's gonna look. I, I'm really enjoying, like, this is definitely green, but it's very subtle. So it like transitions really nicely this way. And then this, this side is getting a little bit more bold, like with the bold yellow and like a bolder minty green. And I'll probably do my other, you know, new ones going here. So I don't know, it's fun to like plan it out, but there you go. Please also observe. This little pillow monster. Rocky. Are you having a little nap on my pillow? Okay, you're cute. some yarn mail that I forgot I ordered. Ooh. Okay, this is an interesting color. Because the some of the photos make this look a lot lighter and some of the photos make it look darker. So I really like this. So this is from Sam at Beachy Breeze Fibers, and I'm definitely losing light. You're not seeing an accurate color representation of this. I'll have to show it to you tomorrow in the light. But it's called Cardigan, is the colorway name. And it's from her Harvest Tonals collection that she did right before we went to Ireland. Sam was in Ireland with us. And this is like a really, really nice purple color. Um, obviously we, <laughs> everyone was all over purple on the trip and she posted these like leftovers um, for like Black Friday, Cyber Monday week. And she had a sale where if you placed an order, you could get like a $25 store credit back to your email for a future pur purchase. And I was like looking at this and I was like, I don't need any more yarn. I don't need to buy it. 
but if it's still there like by the time she's closing the collection then I'll get it and it was still there and so I got all six games of it that were available so I'm really excited about it I'm definitely I definitely want to make a cardigan um, with it it's on her oh i didn't even realize it's on her lagoon dk base which is a 60 percent superwash wool merino wool 20 percent yak 20 percent silk it smells so good it kind of smells like new shoes it's exactly what it smells like which is not a normal smell for yarn <laughs> Oh man. Anyway, so I want to make a cardigan out of this because it's called cardigan and I just think this would be a perfect cardigan color. So thank you, Sam, if you're watching. I know I bought it, but <laughs> I love it. So I'll show it to you in the light tomorrow. Today's square is done. I had a wonderful knit night with Rachel from Rachel is Knitting. And I feel like I can wear this like a bib right now. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna call it a night. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.